Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I am Elite Four Stefan. You are part of the squad. Thank you so much for being here. You are awesome. I can't thank you enough. Uh, tonight's a bonus night. Normally I don't stream. I need to get, I need to stay busy. I just, I need to be distracted a little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't really want to do the other things I got to do. I don't want to adult right now. I'd rather do this. I'm too distracted by other things. I don't want to, I'd rather do this. I'd rather do this. So we're going to shiny hunt a little bit. Eye shots in the chat. What up, eye shot? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. I have to ask because you say you're leveling up. Are you leveling up because you still haven't been able to beat the Elite Four? Did this strategy not work for you? And that's what I'm curious about, actually. That's coming straight into the stream. That's what I am most curious about. So we're going to get straight up started. Are we getting bonus channel points? You are. Today's a bonus night. So technically, yes, sir, you are. And wait, actually, and before I forget, I'm going to go back. Uh, bonus night. I actually went to Walmart on my way home to withdraw some money so I can buy some stuff and try to get some gifts in, you know what I'm talking about. And um, I found some stuff. I found some things. So they are the collection or the celebration tins with the starters on them. And they were actually pretty cheap. They only have like two packs, three packs in them total. And I needed to withdraw money anyways. So I did a withdrawal. And I figured we are going to open up one of these each of the next three stream nights that we're actually on. So tonight, Thursday, Friday, and then Christmas stream, we open up the rest of the celebration stuff and we should have the Evolving Skies merchandise as well by that point. So we're going to do one of these tonight. So tonight you guys will be voting at the end of the stream. Do we do the Sinnoh starters from Gen 4, Pokemon Diamond, which I recommend at this point we kind of do last, but that's on you guys. We have Gen 7, uh, Ga the Gala region, I forget the region's name. Uh, we'll open up this one, or the Alola region. We'll open up one of these three tonight. So I'll let you guys vote towards the end of the stream, and then we'll decide by that. And go from there. And we'll open up one each of the three next three stream nights just for funsies. We'll just do it as a little bonus thing since we're uh, going into Christmas. We'll just call it like a, uh, a celebration. A celebration, if you will. Celebration with celebration packs. That's what we'll do. All right. Let's get on to the diamond. Hope everyone's having a great night, though. Uh, I like the fact... Oh, oh, I need to see what iShot said on that, actually. It worked just like you said. I tanked Napoleon in X defense and won. Now I'm on my way to battle the tower. That's what I like to hear. Thank you, sir. Appreciate and happy that the strategy completely worked for you and got you through it. That's what I wanted to hear. For a second there, I kind of felt like you might have failed, and that's why you were leveling up, so I just wanted to clarify. So I'm really happy that worked. Man, that Napoleon strategy really, it comes through on that Elite Four. Especially against Cynthia. Amino Go Plus! With all the EV emotes a man could ask for, except for two. We'll have more soon. That's right! That's right! Did he say more? He said more. Melodic was such a tank. I lost three times. The fourth was the decider. Uh, well, that's why you did the move change with your Torterra, remember? Did you do that? Did you end up getting the heart scales to do that? Actually, we should rephrase that. Because if you did the move change like I suggested, that should have just breezed you through, no problem.
860 checks. And I really kind of wanted to play Monster Rancher, but I just, I really want to get the Shiny Hunt done now. This is almost on the, uh, I've yet to find a Heart Scale. Oh, really? Okay, maybe... I'm going to actually do that real quick. We're going to go underground after I do this shiny check. And we might just go hunting real quick. Really? You've yet to find a hard skill? I got shocked. It's going to be one of those nights, is it? Put him up, put him up. Why are you going to fight me? I'm going to get electrocuted tonight. That's what's going to happen. I am excited for my electrocution. It's not needed right now. Please get that shiny as out. My man. Okay. We will. This will be a thing. We get the shiny as elf tonight. We're going straight to the underground. We'll do it together as Shawnetta comes in here with a dab and just like, look at me, acknowledge. You have to save to go to the underground and to reset your shiny chances. Can it? I did not know that. Well, you're... Your chances aren't... Actually, I don't know that, and I can't confirm that. Do shiny checks stack? Because I would assume no matter what, it's the odds are like 1 in 4,000. No matter what. Does that make sense? So, like, even if I check it an hour later, no matter what, it's going to be 1 in 4,000. Am I wrong? No, I'm not wrong. Okay. I, I'm assuming that's what that no is for? Because that, no matter what, you should... How can it stack if you reset it? Well, like, I see, that's what it, like, if I'm not quite sure. Like, if you, if you can actually stack your shiny checks, I know going underground and getting that special four minute boost, I don't know what it is because I've only spent very little time down there, but I know I've gotten a few hard scales. Um, I know you get. The odds turn into one, uh, four in 4,000 on your shiny checks. But it's only for like four minutes. But still, that's a huge benefit. I think it's getting all the diglets, getting 40 diglets or whatever it is, 30 diglets. I've, I've spent extreme minute time down there. We've been shiny checking more than anything. We're like legendaries. I'm curious, I've never really thought about it. I've never asked that question. I guess I always kind of just assumed it kind of does because I've never seen anyone really... I've seen very few people go over odds in shiny checking. You're better off hatching eggs, to be honest. Well, with the Masuda method, you are now, yeah. You are definitely are now. Uh, the shiny charm, that's the only thing the shiny charm actually affects in this one. Which is weird. The shiny charm should affect everything. I don't understand why it doesn't. So here in like 20 minutes, 
we'll throw up the prediction, am I getting a shiny for the stream? So please, someone give me a reminder, we'll throw it up then. You guys can get your channel points then, you heathens. But yeah, we're better off hatching eggs. I want to start shiny hunting Lucario, or uh, uh, not Lucario, uh, Viola. So I think we're going to end up shiny hunting Viola to the eggs. I feel like if you resave it, you can't reset your chances or through your game. Maybe I'm superstitious. You're probably superstitious. There's nothing wrong with being superstitious, though. I've already had more shiny luck in this game than I've had in any other Pokemon game ever. Except for Pokemon Go. And I think that's quite obvious why. I can get like 54 shinies on a single community day with absolute no sweat in these current standards. I want to respond to that, but that's probably a super long message. I feel like I have to hash a shiny Starly because how the game started for me. Yeah, Sean. You could, well, if you beat the game, you got the shiny hunter thing. I don't know what it's called yet. But the thing that allows you to shiny hunt or uh, like chain hunt, you can get a Starly shiny pretty easy and get the entire line. I want to come back to that. For the entire family line. Mm. See, I'm doing the eggs on all the super hard things, like. Riolu is going to be damn near impossible to get. You can't capture it in the wild. So, saw some girl trying for shiny starter, and the Starly was shiny on her first battle. Came out, she wanted to cry. Because she couldn't catch it. Well, yeah, I would want to cry too. It happened to Sean. That's how the game started with him. It wasn't his first one, it was a uh, check 699? Wait, I thought you needed the national decks for the Pokey Radar. You do. We're both at the same stage, essentially, of the game. I just didn't know what you caught or haven't caught towards the end. That's why I said it like that. What do you need that's left? Because, like I said, we're doing UC and Ezel. Until we get him. So that's all I need. Because we see Mess Spirit now. We just need to find a way to get a shiny Mess Spirit. I don't know how to do that in this at this point. Like, we're probably going to have to save, like, in every grass encounter. Yes, I completed the Pokedex, so I'm trying to find a ditto to start breeding. Nice, I shot. If I could breed you a ditto, I would. gonna be a good one. So, I'm gonna let you guys decide. We're gonna have a vote between the three celebration tins today. There's a few not sweating it. I'm gonna fish every else after you see before I go after the elf. Everything else after you see before I go after the elf. I don't know what else there is to go after what else is there to go get in between 
Because I'm going to go to the underground. I've barely done any underground stuff. That's something that we need to do. But that's not something everybody wants to watch on stream. You know what I mean? But some people don't know how to catch stuff or get stuff in the underground. Like, I don't know how I got, like, five hard scales and I shot hasn't been able to get one. And I've been down there for, like, 40 minutes. I think it was, like, an hour. Or known, and you have to hatch for your little. I know I've already hatched one. I just I got it in the breeder right now, and it, that's my next egg goal. Keep finding sharks. So you just gotta keep working. I'm gonna finish the rest of the decks. Give me self a bit of a break between you seeing those out. Those are the only two things I have left in the decks to get or to see technically. So I want to get them shiny. So I don't have to keep doing this. I don't even have a base yet. I do have a base. <laughs> That's funny. I do have a base actually. So I've done a lot more in the underground apparently than I thought. But I have, again, I've only been down there for an hour and a half maybe. Two. Most maybe two. Most. I kind of knew nobody wanted to watch it, so like I kind of like avoided it as much as possible. How does one do a base? Um, God, I don't remember. I think it was like the third day we did it. Um, I believe, have you gone up and down a few times completing the guy's challenges and tasks that he wants you to do each time you go down? I believe he gives you a tent to do it. If I remember right. I spoke to the guy once. Yeah, you need to keep going up and down. He has three tasks, maybe four for you. I don't remember exactly what, but like one of them involves creating a base. Each time you go down, you're supposed to complete something for him. Go speak to the man. Ole, ole, shiny. Sh that wasn't shiny. We'll do. Gosh, you mean? See, teamwork makes the dream work. Let me tell you. Anybody got any interesting plans coming up? Anything they want to share with the class? Anything they know they're getting for Christmas they're excited about? I would like to go to the most magical place on earth. Yes, not going to happen though. I'm shocking myself constantly. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 
We're saving to get the RCS game. That will be my Christmas gift to me. Yeah, I need to get that still. Myself. Autumn says I'm buying myself an extraordinarily expensive trip and will probably regret spending so much money on it later. I don't think you'll regret spending money on a trip that you probably really want to go on, if I had to guess. If you're spending money on it that is that extraordinary, you are probably really wanting to go to this location, wherever it may be. So... I shall ask, where will you travel? Are you going to stay in the States or are you going out of country? Let's put it that way. So I know you're in the States. I'll be hanging out with my father, my brother, his girlfriend, and my nephew, and my sister, her boyfriend, and my other nephew and niece. And that nephew, one of those, because I have two other nephews as well from that sister. The youngest nephew is a terror. The dude is a ball of goddamn energy. I kind of just want to like pretend we're in like a anime and just like knee him in the face and like knock him out and pretend it's okay but it's not okay that's not something i would do i just want to be clear i just want to be very clear about that <laughs> just that kid is just super sad and back and forth It's gonna be a fun night. No, my, I think my dad bought Risk and thinks we're gonna be playing Risk all night. That can turn into a very long game. I've never really played Risk before. I do love me a board game. Okay? Like, I'll be real about that. I do love me a game. Whether that be board, card, video, digital, made up, hands, uh, whatever you can think of. Like, I, I love games. I'm a gamer. I like to play games. Dice, uh, cards, dominoes, craps. Grapes. That's a meal, but I will eat it. I'm just saying. I like playing games. So, I've never actually played Risk. I've never had anyone that really wanted to ever play Risk. Because I know it takes a while. I know it's one of those, it's going to take forever kind of things. Last, sorry I walked away for a minute. It's okay. Going to Florida. Boom. Uh, but yeah, so like, Dad bought Risk. I think he has the fullest intention of us playing it all night. But like, last people I spoke to, I think they told me it was like a 10 hour game. Like, if that's legit, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I could do 10 hours sitting at a board game, honestly. I'd much rather come here and try to stream for 10 hours. Oh, for 300 on Yuxi for my man, Sean. You're breaking my heart here, man. Breaking my heart. My achy, breaky heart. It can last that long. It can last days. But I think there's a short version, too. It can last days, 
a risk game that lasts days? You gotta be kidding me, right? Like you're are you you're joking, right? There's absolutely no way. No, it's kind of like D&D &D where you play a campaign. Holy shit. So what you're telling me is, is I need to say no to anything risk related. You know what makes it worse? He bought the Game of Thrones version. I liked Game of Thrones before the last season. I might be really compelled to play this shit and pretend I'm the North. Or suggest the short version. What's the short version? I don't under, I, What's the different? Like, how do you... Is it the rules? Like, I don't know. I'd play that shit if it was Game of Thrones. Oh. Like, uh, see, like, see, you're already making me feel like I should just cave in already. Yeah, I think the goals change in the short version. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. So what you're telling me is, is I need to lead the fucking north to victory. I am not the young wolf Rob. I am not the crippled Bran. I am the mighty Stefan. House love. Fighting for the north. King of the north! King of the north! King of the north! Hold the door. Hold the door. Hold the door. Hold the door. King of the north. That's what I'm talking about. We can't be the only two getting these references in here, right? There's no way! I don't think I clicked the time or the counter on that last one. 888, it's gotta be good luck. No, it is not. You can look up some alternate rules that make the game last about two hours. That is respectable. That is something I would love to do. Two hours seems like a feasible thing to do. It sounds like you need to like arrange an entire day's events around playing a game of Risk. Like literally you're gonna need to come over to somebody's house with your own gear, like a pillow, a couple water bottles, maybe some drinks, snacks, money to prepare for dinner, order it because you're not going to go anywhere because the game's going on forever. Uh, probably pizza. Everybody chipping in. So, uh, prepare to text a wife or a girlfriend. Be like, babe, I'm not coming over. Unless you're lucky enough to have her come over with you and play with you guys. So, in that case, you can actually explain yourself and not really have to explain yourself because she's there. It makes your life that much easier. I know people who leave the board out on the dining table and play after dinner like a week for like a week because it takes a while. I, I don't have those means. I can't go over to, I don't want to go over to his house every single night just to make a move and then like leave. You know what I mean? And I don't know if he's cheating. How am I supposed to keep my eye on him? I don't trust that bastard. Yeah, he's my father. I don't trust that bastard. He's like grandma in the Dane Cook Monopoly skit. No, grandpa. Where did grandma get the extra 50s? No. Nana is a cheating whore. That's exactly how I feel about my father. He's a cheating whore. I don't trust that guy. Who would? Who would trust that guy? I wouldn't. He gave birth to this guy. And I got a sketchy face. That guy's got a sketchy face. He's my father. I got it from that asshole. No honor system in your home. What's honor? No, there's honor system. We probably, we're very truthful. I say it in a very jokingly way, but fuck that guy. <laughs> I don't trust nobody. 
to not fuck with a board overnight. What am I gonna have? Like, okay, like a chess board or like a uh, anything else. Like, I can take a photo of that. Very simple. And be like, yeah, this is what's going on. You know what I mean? But like, in that kind of shit, when I was younger, siblings, hell no. Siblings would fucking cheat their way to victory any way possible. I remember going to the bathroom once, coming back, and just whatever with the siblings and each one of them got dealt quads and I got dealt like garbage and I remember one specific hand where they did that and I just I didn't cut it we're kids we weren't playing for anything or anything major and it was just like what the fuck just happened and literally four siblings got quads and I got drunk uh I shot says Florida is wavy Transition from, uh, transition down to sea level, is how I want to say that, is sometimes very awkward, going from high elevation down to, uh, sea level. I know, going out to San Diego, uh, sometimes you get a little nauseous just with that transition, but it just really depends on the person. Thank you. I appreciate that. I see that. I will need it. With force haste. Definitely read it right after the stream. I'm probably gonna need it. It's like 80 degrees in Florida next week. I need to be there. Oh my god, is it really? Kind of jelly of that. Post it and get votes. Yep, and 80 on Sunday and Monday, 77 on Christmas. Well, that just sounds wonderful. Why do you have to tease me with such wonderfulness? I kind of want that now. That's not what we're looking for. Sorry. Are you though? Are you really? Oh. That was weird. Coffee and tea showed up. Makes me happy to hear. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, 
no, I accidentally closed Mama Toaster's screen. That was an accident. I'm sorry, Mama Toaster. The disrespect was not meant to be real. Oh, where's Lazy? I really want to hear from Lazy. I think he opened up his packs that he got yesterday with his buddy that he got from the Toaster family. I really want to know how his packs open, or how his pack openings turned out. I'm quite curious. I hope we get to hear from him. As would I. I know I would. But I'm quite curious. Three tens, one basic pack, two celebrations packs, and a coin. Open up one tonight. We're off tomorrow. Open up one on Thursday and Friday. So we'll open up one each day leading up to Christmas. And each day you guys will vote which one we open up. And hopefully you guys pick some bangers. I was late on that one. Ooh, excuse me. We're almost at 900 checks, holy crap. The struggle is real, my peoples. My peoples, my squad. I'm glad everybody has plans, or is planning things. Nobody needs to be alone on a holiday. Everyone should have somebody. Does anyone have any weird or odd Christmas traditions? As an example, while you guys are thinking, ha! Sean just came in with ha! Oh, ah! It started like ringing. My ears just started ringing bad. Um, does anyone have any like odd Christmas traditions? Like as an example. Um, I watch Django on Christmas. Django is definitely uh, an odd one, but it's something I really wanted to watch when I moved out at a certain point in time. And yeah, <laughs> it's, it's always been a thing since then. not even quarter odds. No, I know. Well, I'm aware. A oh, hundred more is the quarter odds. I'm not really whining about it too, too much yet. It'll get there. I'm just like, my mindset's not, it's like, not all of them can last this long, right? We got 22 on Dialga. That was awesome. So, 
We, we can make it work. We'll get there eventually. Might not be pretty, but we'll get it. Me and my 1961 reset are rolling our eyes. Hey, hey, hey. It is what it is. So, between the two of us, I would grow white hair by then. Yeah, we were already aware, I shot you. Gave up after the 1900 that we said. We were, we were shocked. That's why we're like, man, you gotta power through that at that point. Uh, but you also had 1961 on a shiny legendary compared to me doing it on the briefcase simulator, which was twice the amount of time just to get through one encounter. So there is a difference. I pre-selected this one. Oh. How long the toaster got off? Excuse me. Sorry, I had to send a message real quick. And when I say I had to, I had to. You know what I mean? It's one of those, yeah. Yeah. Wait. You stream tonight, select what we open. Do we open the Alola? Do we open up the diamond or do we open up the gala region starter boxes? You chat, decide. You complete me. We open up one per night. One! It's the loneliest number. That's right. Oh, we're about 50 minutes in. Nobody reminded me about the prediction. All right, we will do this check real quick. Do my click over. And then as soon as we set it up for the reset, I will go throw the prediction out. I'm off till 4 p.m., so I got time to kick a lot of resets out. Nice, my man. Start a prediction. I gotta work tomorrow, so I don't have that much time. Shiny the stream. I don't know. 
All me no go plus in the last stream. He was really feeling it. And I let him down. And I gave him a solid effort, actually. I gave him four hours, over 250 checks. Uh, I gave him a solid effort. No head nodding, really. I said, really? There was like a moment? But then the moment passed, and we were going. We passed that moment. And we failed. This time, this time, I don't know. I, I kind of want to say, like, I'm feeling it. Like, we're going to. But you never fucking know. Almino Go Plus says, check 911. My man. I did not click that, I don't think. Let's go. What up, my man? On me no go plus. You see we're opening up a 10 tonight, and you guys get to decide which 10. Baby just gave me an EV. Yep, 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 yep. That's how you get the free EV in the game. You can either breed it and get your shiny that way, or you can do the chain with the Pokey Radar when it's in the Trophy Garden. I personally am gonna go for the Trophy Garden strategy. And the only reason I say it that way is because you can try to get more than one off it. So I was gonna try to get like four or five in a single sitting. I'm gonna soft reset the gift EV. No. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. <laughs> Are you, Sean? Are you going to soft reset it? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, Sean. No shiny. Gave up on shiny hunts forever. What do you mean, no? Shine, you said you were gonna shiny hunt Eevee. That's what you were saying. You weren't asking me, you were saying you were gonna do it. And now you're just letting us down. Ooh, I'm messing mess with you. Come on. I want to shiny hunt. I don't have a lot of time to shiny hunt, but I will shiny hunt to the as best I can in the time that I have. I feel like I need to turn down the music a little bit to open that loud. Hmm. 
No, I need a good back. But it didn't really need to be shared, but I could use a good back. I need to start stretching more too. I definitely need to start stretching and working out more again. Ah, I've gone lazy. Alright, we need to start doing it. Start doing the thing. Catch two shiny EVs and crystal a couple of years ago. Damn, really? That's awesome. Crystal, yeah, that's pretty legit. That's too legit. Too legit to quit. Too legit. Too legit to quit. Crystal, Game Boy Color cartridge. You gotta get that cardio up, too. Start running more, get more exercise. Yeah, I've got a bunch from that game actually, the virtual console, not the cartridge. Oh, okay. Too legit. Too legit to quit. Too legit. But person I'm probably going to go running with might not be able to keep up. Never know. We'll see. Too legit. Too legit to play. Well, I should have said it like that. I should have said it like that. Yeah. It wasn't that. Anyone got a bet in yet? Curious. Nope. No one's predicting. Yes or no. Yeah, see, I shouldn't have said that like that. Damn it. The shiny Pokemon color is who? No, that's not what I meant. Fuck. <laughs> I wish I didn't know it started. Shiny Lugia is black or requires a black with yellow. Well, Lugia is shiny isn't black. You know what? That's the best response. That's the best response. <laughs> that is absolutely the best response. I don't know how to respond to that. But yeah, Shiny Lugia is actually pink on the blue accents instead of blue, obviously. Uh, Rayquaza black with the yellow trim instead of the green with the yellow. Uh, Rayquaza has one of the better shinies in any game, by far. 
Sorry, I had to respond to a message. I definitely had to respond to a message. That's an in-person response, I guess. Too legit. Too legit to wait. Oh, we got somebody better in the know. Autumn's like, I've been wrong so many times. I bet you that's who bet, too. Too legit. Too legit to wait. Yep, absolutely. I think so. I think so. I was finally right yesterday. Yeah, going 0 for 3 on your predictions, and you bet. <laughs> no twice. And I got the shinies those two days. And then when you bet yes, I didn't get it that day. So, it was, it's cool that you're now one for four. 25% of the time, you're right. That was painful. Lost a lot of points. <laughs> but honestly, no is your best bet in these situations regardless. As long as you're betting no, honestly, you're most likely going to win. And most people got wins on this because I forgot to close out the prediction once I got it. And they had like 20 minutes to still add and bet. So. I don't want to do too many predictions per stream anymore. We'll do like maybe one big one per stream like this. Or we'll just leave it up for half an hour. I was pissed because I couldn't open the app that day when everyone was changing their prediction. You said that. I felt bad for you. I felt bad. You know what? I was really craving a breakfast burrito this morning. I don't know why. I just I really wanted a breakfast burrito. I'm not getting one tomorrow either. My, my boss, my supervisor, more specifically, was upset with me. And he didn't say it. But you could tell by the look on his face and what he said. He did not specifically say, Stefan, I am upset at you. He turned to everyone in our office and was like, well, we're going to have to find things to do because Stefan did it all today. I was like, okay. Motherfucker. We're going to have to find things to be busy today, guys. I was like, this motherfucker. And it, like, I understand why you're an overachiever. It doesn't help that I was with my manager all day. So, like, I started off my day by going, getting gas, my truck, filling it up going to get some supplies for tomorrow's job. One thing I have to do, or not me specifically, but anybody can do. Uh, I just need to go get the supplies to do it. Um, 
got that, went and did a QC, which is a quality control on a roof, get there, QC most of it. There's a part that's not done, and the cleanup wasn't done, so I called the, the guy that runs the company that did the roofing itself, got him to come back out, look at it, get it all taken care of, so I left, wrote up a report, went back to the office, grabbed some things, manager wanted to go out and check some things, so we joined our routes, we hit like 12 different locations today within hours. It was kind of a... Uh, long. The, okay, so like, I don't mind it. He, when I'm with him like that in situations and me and him can talk, I like the guy a lot, actually. I really do like it. Just hard sometimes as a manager to an employee, the way we have to, uh, the way he differentiates it sometimes. Like, that's sometimes really hard. Um, other than that, like, it wasn't a bad day. I just, I make sure I don't have my phone out around him because he gets upset that I have it out. And that upsets me right now because there's nothing more that I want to do than talk to one person. I don't know how to say this, shit. Yeah. So. so today was a rough day. For me, at least. And then, I had to go shopping. So. Man. Man. Overachiever. Yeah, we picked up 15 ladders and had them on our truck. Like, what in the blue motherfucking hell? Like, what the... It was kind of crazy. I did not think that many ladders could fit on a single truck. I was proven wrong today. Like, 10 of them were on the top rack. It was kind of crazy. This dude is like a Lego master or a Tetris master of ladders. Who, who does this? You do this in your spare time? You stack this shit? Yeah. It was a cool day. How are you talking about? When we talk on a human level, he's a great guy. But yeah. Apparently we did everything that was going to be planned for the rest of the week in a single day. He plays ladder Jenga. That's a fact. That's a fact, Jack. Did my camera go out of focus? No. Now I'm trying to just figure out what to get the old guy. I went to a couple places today to see if I could find an industrial meat cutter. I don't even know if I would get my sister something. Like, I even think about that. I don't really want... We, again, we're not really... We just started, like, kind of getting on talking terms again. Like, I don't go out of my way to call her. I shot, throwing up some sand animals.
I don't go out of my way to call the sisters that's out here. I'll be clear. I have a lot of siblings. I do call my sister out in California. Not as frequently as I probably should. I do get more calls than I call back, but... I still talk to them. Love my family. I have family in California, Texas, Tennessee, Michigan. Uh, don't hate anyone in my family in particular, except for like one, two people. Uh, ironically, they are close. But yeah, it's probably because they're so close that I dislike them. But there's various reasons in between. Who doesn't have a sit or a, not a sibling, but a family member they dislike? Like, it's hard not to get along. Or, I'm sorry, it's hard to get along with everyone in your family. Everyone's different. No one's the same. Uh, people growing up together kind of adapt to each other a little bit differently. But, like, if you bring in, like, cousins from different sides of the family, not, or stupid shit like that, even a niece with an uncle, not everyone likes their family members. And that's okay. Some of your family doesn't deserve your love. Some of your family are just assholes. Or bitches. And that's okay. But you don't have to be around them or like them. And that's okay too. I go with the latter. I avoid those people as best I fucking can. They annoy me. They really, they annoy me. Most of those people feel like, I feel like are in my life. And until I was with my grandma, I was only around those type of people I felt like. Why do you get hungry all of a sudden? God damn, I'm fatty over here. Jesus. I guess I need to learn how to play ladder of Django like my bobs. That's why I run away for Christmas, avoid all these shitty family gatherings. Well, okay. I understand that completely. But you can make your own family gathering that's better type of deal, but I totally understand that. I don't like being around uh, I don't know how to say this. Uh, I don't. I didn't like being around uh, like my old roommate and my dad's stepdaughter's husband. Like I don't like him. And I think my dad just scheduled everything a little bit weird this year because we're doing dinner, which is normally not a thing. We usually do breakfast. I think he did it because I said that. But now that I think about it. If anything, I didn't want to go over to their house, his house, the guy I don't like, on Thanksgiving because why would I want to go to someone's house I dislike? You know what I mean? Um, but other than that, I think, now that I think about it, I want to talk to them about this. Uh, my family's too far away. I don't have to worry about gatherings. You did say that the other day, Sean. So what, are you doing anything? Are you doing like a secret Santa or anything like that? Or are you, you and Judy hanging out and going to catch Pokemon? What's going on with you? I'm curious now. I am super curious. Super curious. Okay, that makes, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, on my side conversation. Um, 
I totally understand the logic behind that now. Do you not try, Sean? Do you not go out to your family and visit them on the holidays at all? Or when was the last time you did that? I used to try to go for like one holiday a year, whether that was like Christmas or Thanksgiving. I would try to go back to California or Michigan. Actually, I was trying to rotate, and then fuck, I just I had money issues. I I came across money issues quick. I'm working that day. Like, I don't know, you could have requested it off. Business could be closed. Could work a half day. Could have requested a week off. Gone to Florida. miss working on Christmas to have an excuse to not do anything else. You guys are really like busting my chops here. Well, it's been a couple years since I've been back to visit. Okay. I just, okay. So like, Jesus. Like, I didn't have like the best Christmases growing up, you know what I mean? Like, but I still... I kind of enjoy the holiday for what it is, not necessarily like, necessarily like the gift portion or anything like that. I like the fact that I get days off. I like the fact that I get to hang out with family that I do enjoy being around. Uh, I like the fact that uh, I get good meals. I love the fact that I get to, actually I like the fact that I actually talk to some people a little bit more around the holidays. I think that's my favorite part. Because I get messages from people that I normally wouldn't get messages from. Which is kind of weird. Oh, we got somebody else betting bet no no. Oh, shit. Dropping a hammer of no. Yeah, it's been like four or five years myself, Sean, since I've been back to California. Full uh, retard right there. I don't know why I went for each other. You gotta go for each other. I honestly, I really hated working Thanksgiving and Christmas in the service industry. It, for me, it was the absolute worst night to work. It ended up usually being busier than you expected because you would usually be like the only thing open, anything around. Um, people would be rude as shit, but most of the time, people would be very generous in giving. So, like, you would get a little really mixed bag on those nights. Um, uh, I'm, I just much rather not work on those nights. That's me. And if you got somebody else to spend the night with, to hang out with, it's even better. I love Christmas and Thanksgiving at Brunswick. See, I was the opposite. I hated those days, Autumn. I requested every Thanksgiving off, and I prayed they wouldn't make me work Christmas. Don usually volunteered for it, and I was like, please volunteer for that shit. I do not want Christmas. And I request Thanksgiving off, and I'd end up doing New Year's. Fine. I don't care. Who am I going to spend New Year's with? I'm usually alone. That was my thought process. 
The other two, I got to at least hang out with family and eat food. I volunteered for the mall. Jesus. Uh, not me. Not me, madam. I'd work New Year's most of the time. I would request the other two if I could. I usually request Thanksgiving. I would get Christmas somehow. Ooh. Look at a Christmas party. That's why. Ooh, stiff as nails. Oh my god. I always had New Year's off because I did the other two, which was fine because I didn't want to deal with the drunk people. Yeah, New Year's out sucks in my opinion. I hate being around all those drunk people on New Year's most of the time. Uh, if I'm at someone's house, I think that's like different. Like if you're hanging out with a group of people, I think that's a huge difference from being at like a bar, a bowling alley, or anywhere else celebrating the New Year. I hate being out with those drunk people in those places. Sometimes they're just so rowdy without realizing they're so rowdy and that makes them worse. You know what I mean? <sighs> oh, yo. Bad yawning. Nine forty-four. Oh, Crimson Neves' guest is coming up. His was nine seventy actually. His was actually the highest guess out of anybody. If he's right, he's right. If he's not, everyone was wrong. Everyone. Ha 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 ha. Mm. I used to really like New Year's when I was a kid. I think I mentioned this before. My grandparents used to have like kid New Year's parties where no adult was allowed but them. And they'd make up like a fake bar with like soda and juices and kids would make up some crazy ass concoction of a name and uh, they would fucking make it some weird ass drink for us to drink and we'd feel like we were big shots he, grandpa would be the bartender all dressed up with a little bow tie uh, vest serving it in like a tiki cup or some shit umbrellas throw fruit in there, make the kids feel like they were hot shit. It was cool. That happened for a long time, and then it just stopped. It was really cool, though. It was really cool. It was. My grandparents have a ton of photos of all that kind of stuff. Like, all the kids had to come dressed up. You couldn't be just, like, super casual. You had to be fully dressed up. You had to be in dress clothes. Yeah, Grandma's got photos of those all over her wall. It's a Grandma thing. For sure. Why am I so yawning? Push past the yawniness.
If you really wanted to see some old school photos of me, I'm sure there's some on my Facebook. I know Grandma tags me in a lot. Uh, I don't know how often I've been on there recently to see. Uh, but it was all really so the parents could go party it up somewhere. Most likely. And I don't give two shits. It was cool that the grandparents did that. Um, yeah, I think my Facebook has a lot of like old school photos like that actually. It'd be hard to tell which were which, but yeah, grandma definitely tags me in a ton of photos on Facebook. I think I've been tagged in the same photos like eight different ways. Facebook quickly becoming MySpace. That's what it feels like to me, honestly. I've hated Facebook for about a year or two now. I really avoided it at all costs. I, I found I had a friend request in there for like three weeks, and I was like, oh, okay. Damn, I really don't check it. And like, before I did check it that three weeks ago, before that, it was like nine months. I usually just get on there to show photos that I posted when I was younger. I think the last photo I actually posted was like five years ago at my brother's wedding. I stopped using Facebook when my preferences made me a target for advertisements. Definitely. I agree with that. Oh shit. Oh, that's a can of worms. <laughs> that's a fucking can of worms. I don't know how much of it she has, but she probably has a lot. Wow, yeah, yeah. It don't, it, I, like, I'm not bothered by it by any means. But yeah, I hated Facebook. Facebook has become very bad to me recently. I just, I don't like being on it if I don't have to. But for whatever reason, I have family members that will only respond to me through Messenger. Why? Why? Oh yeah, I was supposed to get an Evolving Skies ETB delivered to me tonight, but uh, I, I don't know what happened. When I asked, I just got a message saying busy. It was MySpace, his Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, last and last TikTok. Fuck MySpace, my MySpace finally deleted my account, which I probably should have gone and gotten all those photos. It's probably my biggest regret, now that I really think about it. I had a ton of photos on there. Uh, high five, I don't know what the fuck that is. Facebook's about to die. Snapchat, I hate Snapchat. Like, honestly, who can take that many selfies? Like, how many different ways and different angles can I see you and stir up a conversation from that? You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't do it for me. Uh, might as well just be on a FaceTime call, which I'm cool with. That I'm cool with. Snapchat on that. Instagram, I don't have one. I've heard a lot of people be on it, but like, eh. And last TikTok, I'm not on it. Flat out. Uh, whatever happened to Tom? Tom sold it and bailed. That's a fact. Is he still alive? 
I'll be on an island yelling, I'm not your friend. I was never really your friend. Yeah, he, he may bank. He lives in Hawaii, apparently. Well, he can afford it. He has a private island on the Caribbean, just chilling, shiny hunting on the Switch. See, I shot already knows. What if the plot twist is I shot is that guy? No. He he. Plot twist. What a twist. What a twist! You caught me! Do I win something? I got him! Do I win something? Does that mean I'm the best? Do I win like a billion dollars? A million? A quarter of a million? Ten thousand? Ten K? Ten dollars? A dollar? Lunch? Knapsack? A half merited ass pat in a good play? Uh, I don't know what else is worthwhile. You and mom spaghetti, 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 spaghetti. So you're telling me as I get one shot, one opportunity to cease everything I ever wanted for that moment, will I capture it? Or will I just let it slip? Come at me, son. Spaghetti, spaghetti. Noodles. Who wants it? Who needs it? Why do you have so many Switch profiles? Uh, I'll show you as I go through it next time, or as I load up next one. My main account, my speedrun account, my spare account for anything I might need, because when you do Sword and Shield, Let's Go, Zelda or anything else, you have to have separate profiles for it to save separate accounts. So I have different things done on different things. That's my brother's account. That's my littlest brother's account. That's one of my best friends. And that's one of my other best friends. Why do you have so many little accounts? Now, I got to play Smash with them, so, or even if they're not playing Smash with me, um, I've allowed them to, like, use my Switch while I'm doing other things. 
and they play on it, which I don't mind. I allow my friends to play on my stuff if I'm busy. Like, uh, Brendan comes over everywhere once in a while, spends the night, hangs out, just chills. He's one of my good buddies. I know him for, fuck, I've known him for almost like 15 years now. Jerry, Jeremiah, one of my best friends. You have a Switch one that docks? Yeah, I have one of the OG models. I have the uh, Super Smash Brothers model, to be more accurate. Yeah, I don't have the Smash Brother Joy-Cons on it right now either, I just realized. That's funny. I do, I do, I do. Do you have a Switch Lite? Is that why you're asking? Yes, I have the light one. Gotcha. I, uh, I'm a big proponent. I like the idea that I can take it mobile and do whatever I want with it. But if I can't play it on a TV, I, that kind of bothers me. I like having the big screen or bigger screen. I'm, uh, again, if I need to, I'll play it mobile wise. But again, I prefer to have it on just the big screen. I think it's way better on like a television. Uh, that's just me personally. I can understand getting the light for functionality and cost effectiveness. But for playing games like Zelda or oh, really Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild, you have to play on a TV to really immerse yourself and feel. You know what I mean? Uh, Sean says, Switch Light. Ew. Ew. Ah, the predictions are finally over. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize the timer was coming up on that. Interesting. All right, guys, I'll just throw up a quick reminder as we come up across the next one. You, tonight, are going to help me decide which of the three celebration tins we open up live on stream. We're going to open up one tonight. We're off tomorrow. We're going to open up one on Thursday. And one on Friday leading into Christmas and the pack opening on Christmas Day. You guys will vote on which one of these we open tonight. Then you guys will vote on which one we open up on Thursday. And then by default, we will obviously open up the last one on Friday. I recommend we leave the diamond one for Friday. Just because, hey, we've been playing diamond. Might as well leave the Sinnoh region for last. Maybe it'll be good luck. I don't know, but it is totally up to you. We'll leave it up to you guys. You guys get full control. Full control? Full control! Sounds like a name of a shitty ass band. In the fucking 90s. We are full control. And we're gonna rock you out. Full control! Full control! I need long hair when I say shit like that. So just jamming out, head nodding, throwing it back and forth. Let me whip my hair for it. Whip my hair for it. I did click over. Yes, I did. I feel like I did it early. I did do it early. I need to stay doing it when I encounter him. 
All right, we need some shiny vibes. Can I get some like dabbing Snorlaxes, some Eevees, some hashtag Eevees, some, some, we need some luck in the chat. We need, we need some hype. We need some, we need some good vibrations. We need, uh, we need a little hug or two. We need Snorlax. Autumn with the dab of Snorlax coming in hot. Nine sixty four, this might be it. The switch light is not bad. I don't have a smart TV. I don't have a smart TV. I have a big TV. I have a smaller TV. They're both old. They're both flat screens. I feel like I should crack open my 3DS and re reset for shiny RCS while I do YouTube too. Hey, if you can multitask, do it, dude. That's what I was doing with Pokemon Go Community Day the other day. I was catching while I was on my lap while shiny checking with this. So if you feel like you can do it, do it, man. How are you going to get Arceus, though? Do you have, like, the ticket on your 3DS? Do you have that special event? Because you can't capture them by conventional means. I guess I should ask, which game are you gonna play on the 3DS and Shiny Hunt? Them? Oh, we know go plus. What up, my man? Welcome back, baby. You're back. We are four guesses away from Crimson's 970 guess. That's meta shiny. You have the special event item? Did you glit did you uh, action replay it in? I couldn't think of the words. Connection chance your DNS settings and can protect all the mystery gifts in diamond. Really? Change your DNS settings and you can protect all the. I didn't know that. Wow. Okay. Oh, she's a crying emo. I thought that was Tanjiro for a second. Tanjiro! Action replay was the best, according to iShot. It wasn't bad. I hated looking up all the codes back in the day and having to write them down and then put them in. Putting them in was the worst. I had to use a open hotspot off my buddy's Android. Okay. Unlimited master balls. Yep. Unlimited money. Any Pokemon you wanted encountering in the grass at any point in time. Like you can, any level you wanted to encounter, you can manipulate everything. Of 
course. No action replay or void, which is necessary. Just wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ow, now, brown cow. Ow, now, brown cow. Ow, now, brown cow. That's. Not a shiny. Crimson Eve was wrong, bro. Everyone was wrong! Shiny Pro just got an update. Should I do it? I did the update right before I got on. Uh, you could ask me about it. I don't know what the update is, but I did it. like to go for at least like another 45 minutes. But we might call it a little bit early. I'm starting to get hungry. And might need to eat for sure. So Shane Pro just got an update. How about we do I don't know. We'll do I know. I know, I got an idea. Twitch poll. Poll, poll, poll. New poll. We like polls. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's disgusting. Holy crap. Which do we open? I'm just going to do it by generation, so Sinnoh. Oh, shit. One, two, three. Three spaces. Just reset the whole thing. 974. God damn it. I hope I didn't. I think I did that. We got a five minute pull up. I did. Crap. I'm just gonna have to do it this way. Oh uh, man, I hit tab. Wasn't thinking. Tab's what I have set up for reset. Uh, all right, we'll just speed through it real quick. So this is 975. Not good. 
hundred, nine seventy five, nine seventy five, nine seventy five. We'll get to a thousand. Okay. That was wrong, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, we're close. Not as bad as I thought. Oops. And this right here, oop, no, go back in, is 976. Perfect. Perfection. Yeah, I think we can get to a thousand. Uh, I have tab set up as my reset button because I have it on hotkeys on my laptop or on my keyboard. And uh, when I was putting in the poll questions and answers, I hit tab to go to each section without having to grab my mouse. So that's how I do that. Spacebar is set up to count. Alt is to subtract. Tab is to reset. So if I'm typing even on a like notepad, but I have the counter up, it does that. It'll reset the counter, it'll do anything if I have it up. Oh guys, don't give me ties, please. Somebody please break this tie. Do you have a gaming PC? I do not. I am in the process of trying to upgrade to one and get one. I am slowly moving towards that and that's what this is all part of. Please, thank you, whoever broke the tie. I appreciate you. You're awesome. Uh, my thumb is just it cracks. It hurts like a mother. Like a mother trucker. Mother trucker hurt a mother motherfucker trucker trucker hurt a motherfucker trucker. one's gonna win I didn't even actually look at the names I just saw the votes oh it looks like a Lola one is going to end up winning. I'm just going to open one of them. Remember, there's two celebration packs and a comma ditto. Nice, I shot. Bam! Alola. Ten channel points for the vote. That is hilarious. Alright, we're going to do this last check and I think I'm going to call it. It is a bonus stream, just wanted to get a little extra, and I probably should wait till a thousand, but again, I'm hungry, I want to go to places before they close. I'm probably going to go get something, I don't know. I'm, I'm fat and lazy, I'll probably do that. Let's check this, let's give it a nice odd number, why the f*** not? Not shiny. 
All right, guys. Let's. So you guys voted on the Lola. So that's this guy right here. We're gonna switch the camera view. Boom. I'm not gonna set up the other camera right now or anything. Uh, we're just gonna do it straight up like this. I'll open the packs right here and just make it super easy. Trying to be super cautious. I don't want to mess up the tin. The tin actually, uh, if you get all, I think it's eight of them, they have a, they set up into a picture with all of them, which is pretty cool, actually. So, like so. I don't know why, but I feel like that's been resealed. I'm not very happy about that. Now that I really I took that off, I feel like that's been real sealed. I'm kind of scared. Oh, actually, let me close out your predictions. You guys are right. Let me do that real quick before I forget. Boom. Good on that. There you go. All right, so we're opening it up. I don't know why I still have the knife out. Put that away, because I would stab myself. Comes with a nice 25th anniversary coin. We've got a few of those now, which is perfect. They're pretty cool. This is one of the silhouette cards all pieced together. If you look at it on the back end, it shows which piece of the eight that it is that it connects to, which is pretty cool. I'll set that over there. We got two celebration packs and a darkness ablaze. There it goes. Like I can't get it out. It's a cool little tin though. I think we also take off the back. Aha. And it reveals the entire picture silhouette as well. I know it's going to be hard to get it in focus, but it's kind of cool. So there's eight of these, and I got three of the eight on this. So we're going to start off with the Darkness of Blaze pack, I think. I think that's fair. It's actually... Get all these packs just quickly prepped. Open. Open it. We are you're doing that. Alright, so we got the darkness ablaze. Oh, come on. Huh. You got a white coat card. You know what that means? Could be good, could be bad. One, two, three, four. Boom. So we got a water energy. Actually, let me move this so I have room. Do this real quick. Water energy. Uh, actually, I don't even know the name of this. Toxapex. Toxapex. Big parasol. Uh, I don't even know this one. Shinotic. That's a new one. That's one of the newer generations. I haven't they mess with that too much. Uh, we got Wishy Washy, Poufant, Dino. That's a dope looking Dino. Hand Seer. Hope you can hear me. Marip. Herloin. Reverse Hollow. And yo! <laughs> Did I what? Did what? What? That's pretty dope. Hound Doom V4. Let's go. First card out of that one of those tens. I'm so happy I bought those now. Where are my sleeves? Give me some sleeves. Yo, let's go. I didn't expect that. That's a hit hit. 
That's one of the better hits I've ever gotten, actually. That's a clean hound deal. That's pretty dope. I'm appreciative. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right. Now we got the celebrations packs. We got two. We're going to open up this one first. I don't know why. It's calling to me. That one's going to be the Charizard, so we're going to save that for last. We're going to do this one first. Let's get this opened up. card over there just go at it like this so we got Kyogre Xerneas Ho-Oh and Zacian B yeah Zacian I forget which is which code card let's do it oh I like this song All right, Let's see what we get. Zekrom, Rashiram, <gasps> oh, you're fucking kidding me. What are the five that we needed? Are you, is this real? Did this really just happen? Two of the three packs were hits. Like what in the fuck? Dude, I literally just went into Walmart and bought these just randomly at the end of the fucking night just to withdraw cash. I was like, oh, I might as well just buy a couple real quick. Oh, uh, we'll make it a stream thing. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, we are Four cards away from a completion of our set now. Dude. Yo. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. That's a good way to end the stream. I am super hyped on that, actually. Oh. Holy crap. I need to put this in my binder. I'm all hyped. Ah! Look at that, Charizard. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That shit is lit. It was just random, too. I was like, we're going to do this. The fuck? I love it. I love it. Oh. Thank you guys so much for being here on the bonus stream. Uh, I really appreciate you. You know I do. I can't say it enough. You guys are wonderful for stopping by every time with your support. Uh, we will not be on tomorrow. I want to be clear about that. We will be on Thursday. Uh, let me reach over and grab one of these. Thursday. You guys will decide during stream which one of these we open up. And then Friday, we'll do our stream just like normal. Decide which, obviously, the opposite one we will open up on Friday. It'll be like our three days leading into Christmas. Um, excuse me. And then Saturday... Christmas stream, we will be opening up more celebration stuff and hopefully 36 packs of Evolving Skies. I kind of feel like I've overbought for celebrations now. This was going to be the heart. This and the Charizard, I think, were the two ones I was this most scared about getting. And now that I got this, I kind of feel like the Charizard is going to come to us. It's going to fall on my lap. Oh, come to me. <laughs> Either way, follow me on my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, YouTube, all the socials. Everything is linked below. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are wonderful. Have a wonderful night. Be safe. I'll see you on Thursday. Deuces, guys. Yeah, we need to laminate this. Put it in my binder. <laughs>